It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Wednesday, September 28th. I'm James Spann. The coolest air so far this season doing here tonight, tomorrow, and Friday. And a tropical storm by the name of Matthew creating lots of buzz. So let's go right to it. Water vapor satellite view. That is a welcome sight for those tired of hot weather. Big upper low north of the state digging south. That'll pull down that cool air tonight and tomorrow. Numbers today, not bad. We're in the 80s, Birmingham at 83, but tomorrow highs will drop into the mid-70s. And the same thing on Friday. Lows well down in the 50s. In fact, we had many spots in the uh, 40s in North Alabama this morning. Around the nation, you can see that cool air over the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, dropping southward. On the watch warning map, most of the action is northeast of Alabama. Flash flood watches and this severe thunderstorm watch up for parts of North Carolina and Virginia until 10 o'clock Eastern time tonight. In advance of that big upper low, we've got the standard slight risk of severe weather in that region. Of course, for us, we're in dry air and we just can't buy a shower. This is the rain for the next five days. This is the rain for the next seven days. Showing nothing here. Big numbers uh, up to the northeast around Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. About nine inches there and also some higher numbers on the Florida Atlantic coast with possible interaction with Matthew. There's our new tropical storm on the board. We knew this was coming. It was upgraded this morning at about uh, mid-morning local time. It is coming through the Windward Islands. The uh, maximum sustained winds are at 60 miles per hour, so uh, not too far away from hurricane strength already. Modeling. Tropical models pretty much all turn this thing northward. The, the idea continues of a sharp right-hand turn uh, coming up uh, close to Jamaica and the eastern part of Cuba and then into the Atlantic, affecting the Bahamas. Uh, these uh, models keep it out of the Gulf. The GFS ensembles keep it out of the Gulf. 21 members, all of them, keep it well out of the Gulf. But it's awfully close to the upper Atlantic coast of the United States, down the line. And again, this is the one that's still creating some buzz. This is the OZ European Ensemble from last night, and it's got this big spread with some of the members going in the Gulf, some in the Atlantic, but I have to say at this point it's an outlier. And we'll get the new uh, 12Z Ensemble guidance in later, but the actual deterministic run, the 12Z run of the European uh, it was just in, and again, it shows it like the GFS, the tropical models, everything else. It's got it well east of the Gulf of Mexico. So I would imagine the ensembles will be adjusting to show a solution that does not threaten the Gulf. And of course, understand, and anything could change, but I'd say the odds of this being a Gulf of Mexico problem are quite low. And by the way, this map you're seeing is valid Saturday, October 8th, and uh, the, the, your, the GFS is much faster, as you'll see. The intensity guidance, most models ramp it up to a Category 2, some to a major Category 3 hurricane. Water's awfully warm there, not much shear. You see some drop it off tremendously after 120 hours. That could be interaction with Hispaniola. Not so sure what the deal is with that. But let's look at the official track coming from the Hurricane Center. Uh, they ramp it up to a hurricane Friday morning. And again, turn it sharply north up toward Jamaica Monday of next week. And again, from there, a northward track is most likely across the eastern part of Cuba, up into the Bahamas, and then into the Atlantic. And whether it affects the east coast of the United States or not, nobody knows that at this point. But certainly, everybody needs to watch this all the way from Key West up to Cape Cod. And the Gulf of Mexico solution, uh, the chance is not zero, but I'd say it's pretty small at this point. And we'll be watching. But let's uh, strap in and check the modeling here. This is the GFS. This is the... A uh, 12Z run valid tomorrow at 1 o'clock. And look at the upper low digging south down into Tennessee and Kentucky. Again, that is a sight uh, for sore eyes to see for those that are tired of hot weather. Nice north breeze, the high dropping in the 70s tomorrow, mid-70s. Dew points dropping well down in the 40s. Friday will start the day well down in the 50s, the high again in the mid-70s. That's pretty far below average. Keep in mind, the high here, the average high doesn't drop below 80 until October. Saturday, a delightful day to kick off the weekend. Sunny, high in the upper 70s. And Sunday, a sunny day with low 80s. Just a great weekend coming up. We're very comfortable for football, unlike that brutal heat we had last weekend. Monday, same thing. We're dry, and this is Tuesday. 
Matthew is coming through the Bahamas on the GFS, moving northward. There's a week from today. Look at the trough in the western states. Down below that is surface cold front uh, down through the Midwest and the plains. We're dry. Matthew well to the east off the uh, coast of the Carolinas. This is the end of the forecast period. This is Saturday, October 8th. Troughing north of us. We're dry. And if everybody needs rain, goodness, I wish I could promise it, but we just don't see much hope over the next 10 days. And uh, Matthew is basically coming up into the Canadian Maritimes. And again, let me show you the, the European. This is the same time. This is Saturday, October 8th. The Europeans got it still around the Bahamas. And again, the GFS has it up in the Canadian Maritimes. So there's still obviously not much confidence in a forecast that far out, but uh, it's hard to find any credible idea of this getting into the Gulf. Numbers. Highs dropping in the 70s tomorrow and Friday. Next week will be warmer. We go back in the 80s, lows, upper 50s, and low 60s across the board. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.